In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to create bar chart visualization from your unit catalog SQL query in the Databricks notebook. So let's get started. First, it is important to create your cluster and that should be running. So I've talked about that in my previous video on the Databricks. So you can always watch and see how to do that. And I've got this Abiola cluster running. So I can come to this compute and I can see it is really running as the state. So I want to click on this catalog and I've got this cornerstone analytics catalog. So I'm going to click on that to expand. I can see the default information schema and then this is the sales schema i created so when i click on that i'm going to see the table that i loaded into the schema of the unit catalog so i can see the information such as the overview i can see the columns the types i can even come to the sample data i can see the old data i can come to the details and so on so we want to go ahead and create a query on top of this transaction table so please make sure this is selected and we're going to click on this create and then we can create query notebook dashboard we want to create a notebook I'm just going to automatically generate the SQL query that allows us to interrogate the data without having to do any writing of coding. So we can see, of course, this is in the price pack, but we're going to be switching to the SQL. So we have this percent SQL and then we have the select star from the name of the unit catalog and the name of the schema and the name of the table. So let's just see the top five records. So limit five. And I'm going to press control enter to run the code. We have this query working fine. I've got the year, region, subcategory to the sales. So we want to just perform a group. I want to see the total sales by region. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to just indent this code to make it easier to read. I'm going to call this on region and press enter. And I'm going to use the sum function on the sales column. And I'm going to call this one as total sales and then press enter to make it more readable and i'm going to come here and press enter so i'm going to get rid of this limit five and press enter and use the group by so i can even use the group by all the columns within the select so basically i've got the region column specifically so i can control enter to see the results Okay, this gave me the total sales by region. So I can see based on this that the East region is the best performing region based on the total sales value. So this is 51,794. So I want to go ahead and create our visualization. Now to do that, we can see here we have the table and they're going to click on this plus sign. It's going to give you the option for visualization and data profile. So I'm going to click on visualization and then this will automatically generate this clustered bar chart for me, which is absolutely cool. Now, now, I can play around under the general tab. I can see the horizontal chart. I can play around with the Y column, the X column. I can use the group by and so on and so forth. Now, I'm going to click on save and it's going to automatically be included in the query for me at the bottom. So I can see we have the table view and then we have the visualization now. A couple of things you can do here. I can double click or click on this to rename this visualization one. I can just call this one um, sales by region. And once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and control or press enter so that's done what about if we want to make changes to this chart maybe we want to change the color we want to turn on the data labels and so on and so forth now that's so easy i'm going to click on this um, chevron and we have option to edit so when i edit this is going to bring back to the visualization editor and then i can come for example to the data labels tab i can enable the data labels and there we go so we have this enabled i can even change the color of this chart this um, central is and so on and so forth i'm going to come to the colors here and i'm going to click on this and choose whatever color i want let's say i want to choose the green unfortunately we can't create different colors for each of the regions the east south and so on and so forth so this could apply across all the Region, but it's not too bad and of course you can come to the series you can play around and you can switch from the bar chart to the line chart and this works fine i can even go back to the bar chart and that works fine i can even come to the y-axis i can click on this sort values and this is sorted i can go on and turn it on i can show labels if i want to do so you can see i just turn up the labels on this y-axis i can even show it if i want to see it i can come to the x-axis and do the same thing i can add the x-axis at the bottom here that's eating i can turn it on if i choose to and once i'm done i can go on and click on save and this is going to be my transform bar chart so this is how we can in the databricks notebook create a visualization i trust you this video if you do like comment share and follow me for more videos thank you for watching bye for now